Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the RR Brink. This is their LE Escort trim for their uh, specific uh, series of lock set that we're going to discuss right now. This would be for their uh, 1056-503 uh, mortise lock is what it is. And the way that RR Brink works is to purchase their material or parts such as this video will be for the trim um, there is always a serial number uh, as far as I understand on all of their parts to be able to order material for that the factory in all instances will ask for that uh, serial number uh, so that we can provide that to them so that they can determine the bill of materials for that material and then correctly uh, enter an order for the replacement uh, hardware. So this client has uh, some medium security detention uh, mortise locks and the client needed new trim. Uh, needed um, two sets of trim, okay, and once we were able to uh, provide the factory the serial number from the original installed lock, an order for the replacement trim was forthcoming. So the this is the LE, okay, and this lever trim on that 1050 series lock is meant to allow you the ability to be handicap compliant. Okay, a quite substantial piece of hardware. It's really, um, you know, a, a very a quite heavy lever that has, uh, you know, a spring mechanism. It has, which is down inside of here, which you can kind of see a little bit. Okay, it has a dead stop down here. It is obviously surface mounted. It has the spindle for the lock body. Or the mortise cassette and there is going to be of course one of each hand as shown here a set of these weighs almost 10 pounds about about nine and nine and a half pounds uh, pin torx fasteners are included with star style washers okay now there is some supporting documentation that we can take a look at when it comes to our brink and we uh, are not necessarily, uh, we are certainly not focused on the detention industry. That is its own sort of industry. Uh, however, we have clients that get involved in it. Uh, the end user might be, um, you know, um, Customs and Border Patrol, and they would call us up and, and need material. Uh, it's unusual for a, uh, a jail to make uh, or a detention facility to make any sort of large purchase of the material because that is all done when the building is built but in terms of maintenance that's where companies like ours get called uh, in to help assist so if you have an RR Brink product and you need help or service with it absolutely get that serial number because that question is going to come up uh, sooner or later in the conversation. Let's switch to the screen view and take a look at some supporting documentation. Before we do that, let me put the tape measure on this trim just so we have an idea of what size it is. Certainly that back plate absolutely appears to be stainless steel and that makes sense. Um, I don't know what the lever is made of. It's very, very much non-magnetic. Um, you know, the, the, op, the, the possibilities are zinc for that lever. And, I, and, and my guess is going to be zinc. Die-cast zinc would be my guess of what that lever is actually made of. Um, That's going to be my guess. Overall width. About 8 inch, as you can see. Overall height at the tallest end. The end towards the hinge, uh, towards the hinges, about 6 and 3 quarter. Overall projection. Looks like it's about 3 inch, maybe just shy on that. The spindle that's coming out of the back, that key stock diameter, pardon me, the, the, the size of the key stock, 0 0.2, pardon me, 0 0.31, so 5 sixteenths. 
yeah, point, but that'd be a 516 spindle that is clearly captive inside of there. There's a post that's holding that spindle in place. Okay, let's switch to the screen view and take a look at the uh, catalog supporting documentation. Okay, so this is the item that we are looking at. Not much to see here, uh, but let's click here to the manufacturer's page. And from here, we will be able to pull up the uh, product catalog. Product Catalog Master Index. Let's take a look at that first. Uh, let's look at the product catalog. Okay, so let's take a look at the um, product catalog. So based on the serial number, this lock came back to be a 1056 lock, uh, according to the manufacturer. 1056, fail secure. So this is clearly a... Um, This is this is certainly uh, minimum medium security automatic deadlocking latch with electric knob or lever control heavy stainless steel construction uh, hollow metal door you know in terms of those levers it, this this item appears to be cast. Um, it, it, and based on the cost of, of this detention material, the, the lever itself could be stainless. Um, but anyway, let's let's move on. Heavy stainless steel construction. They're speaking of the lock itself. Hollow metal door mortise mounting. So this is an electrified lock. Here is what our lever escort trim looks like. Uh, knob trim. This is going to be a ligature resistant style trim. This conical shape. And we can look in that series, and there is a link below this video to the document, but the lever escort, specify LE, enables the designer or specifier to satisfy the ADA accessibility requirement um, and impede intentional forced lever breakage. So what they're saying there is, if this was a standard mortise lock with just a lever hanging off, you'd be able to absolutely use that lever as a handle or means by which to damage the lock itself. Well, this lever being, of course, completely retained inside of this uh, chase here, the spring with dead stop chase assembly is going to substantially reduce, you know, the chance that that's going to happen. Okay. So that document is there provided to give you a little bit of background of what the LE or lever escort trim is. The rest of the document, of course, is very handy uh, for you to review the entire line of their material. And we do bump into the material occasionally. We've bumped into some of their um, their uh, electrified hardware where there is an electric lock that is governing the, believe it or not, the um, vault door that would allow access to a sub-street level mechanical area. Uh, for a utility and uh, electrified piece of hardware that was governing that and all they needed was the serial number to determine exactly what that client uh, ended up needing. So lots of very interesting material here. The one crossover idea of how this RR Brink material gets into the gets into the builder's hardware realm is the term called mogul cylinder mogul cylinder um, these are our brink locks have mortise cylinders they're properly termed mogul cylinder okay now in the world of mortise cylinders there are four sizes that I can think of right off the top of my head the three quarter inch peanut cylinder the very ubiquitous one and five thirty second of an inch standard builder's hardware mortise cylinder. There's the inch and a half master ring cylinder or jumbo cylinder. Master ring would be a Corbin, a PF Corbin reference, but Sargent and um, Russwin certainly had jumbo cylinders, inch and a half. Well, the mogul is the two inch cylinder, and everything is positively larger about a mogul cylinder. Um, not only is it substantially larger in the fact that it's two inch, but everything internally is is different as well. 
Uh, so you're going to see mogul cylinders in detention work um, quite often. Um, and more, and, and it's two inch uh, diameter because it's simply more robust. Everything is larger. The pins, the springs, everything is simply far larger. So if you were interested to see more about that mogul cylinder, there are other people that make it other than whomever makes the cylinder for our Brink. They probably bring that in from someone else, um, would be my guess, but don't quote me on that. I don't know if they're actually manufacturing the cylinders. I doubt that they are actually making the cylinders. So very interesting to be able to look at, you know, the, uh, you, you know, you can, if this picture is in scale, which um, frankly it, it is, because I, I know what, I, I have a mogul cylinder 10 feet from my desk. Um, this is the standard cylinder, and this is a mogul cylinder, and they're substantially larger. But in detention work, it needs to be heavy duty and certainly high security. But they can also make their locks for these other high security platforms such as Medico and the ASA. Um, ASA is a sidebar sort of system where there are side pins or finger pins in the side that ride along these uh, the side bit groove or milling. Medico of course is the name synonymous with um, cuts that are angled and um, a very um, well understood principle of cylinder design, the Medico original, the biaxial, the Medico 3, and that Medico 3 patent is up in 2021 next year, so I'm very curious to see what Medico comes out to market with to protect the uh, property that they have going on since the uh, since about 1970 or so. Let's wrap up this video on camera. So I apologize for that uh, sort of uh, detour we took when it comes to mogul cylinders, but I thought it was interesting to show this is the size of a standard cylinder. This happens to be a Kaba Gemini, a very um, common in Europe, but less so in the United States or North America, dimple key system. But the point is, it's the first one I grabbed. Standard cylinder. There's your mogul cylinder. Okay, That is a mogul cylinder 2-inch that you're going to see in detention work. This has the ASA principle on it the side cuts okay really neat um, so the video purpose of the video is to talk about our, our brink in general how to go about servicing that material and what the LE escort trim looks like uh, clearly they're handed they have to know what hand you're dealing with on the lock um, I cannot detect inside or outside and as a result um, Ordering the material according to the hand required for the opening is 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 the only way to order hardware. But I can't detect the difference between this client ordered two, a left and a right. Um, I cannot detect the difference between them, and I'm quite um, comfortable in saying there there really is no difference because there seems to be no different parts for the exterior side. You know, you. Um, if they were through bolted and one side had studs that were welded to the back, that would obviously be handed. But I'm not, I'm not seeing that at all with this. There might be something I'm missing, but I don't believe that there is. Anyway, you need help with our brake material? Have that serial number. Feel free to reach out to us. Check out their catalog, and we'll be happy to work with the factory on your behalf to allow you to continue to get uh, safe. Uh, security use out of the significant investment in hardware. This is a Customs and Border Patrol location in the American Southwest, and um, we thank them for their service. Thank you.